The discussion today will focus on the Vox function, which is essentially a hands-free mode for using this radio. As you know by now, when you want to transmit using a CB radio, you typically use this microphone. To transmit a message to the recipient, it's very simple. You push to talk. And you know that your transmission is live because you can see the TX icon on the top left-hand side of your CB radio. And you can see the signal strength of the transmission. When you release the microphone, you can see the TX icon disappears and the signal strength drops back to zero. So push to talk, transmission, release, no transmission. Now, Vox is a function that you can activate by pushing this button. So it's the bottom right button on this, uh, this panel of uh, functions. And it's activated simply by pushing this for a brief moment. When you push the button there, you can see VOX on your display screen. And it now means that Vox is active. So when Vox is active essentially to transmit, you do not need to use the push to talk button here. There are a few different features that actually matter. Uh, in terms of how efficiently you can use Vox. The first is the sensitivity level. Now to access the parameters that affect Vox, you push this button a little bit longer and you can see SL is flashing here. This is sensitivity level. Now a sensitivity level of 1 means the microphone is highly sensitive and on the other end of the scale, which we'll go to in a couple of seconds, it means at 9 there is almost uh, no sensitivity of the microphone so it doesn't pick up much signal at all. So we are at sensitivity level 1. You can see the microphone at the center of your the table here. I am speaking and as you can see the device is transmitting and you know that because you can see the TX and you can see the signal strength increase every time I speak and when I pause you will see it stop. So as you saw, when I stopped speaking, the signal strength dropped to zero and the TX button disappeared. And just to indicate to you that the Vox is working because you can see the microphone is not being pushed to talk. And we can try a test. Come, est-ce que tu me reçois? Oui, je vous reçois, thanks for playing parfaitement. Merci, Cam. So Cam is a recipient who is tuned into the same channel and same modulation as me. Uh, he was able to hear me and transmit back to me without any problem at all. So if you do the opposite now, if you actually go to the unsensitive part of the uh, sensitivity level, so again you push here, now you see this flashing, and you go to sensitivity level 9, which means that this push to talk microphone is very insensitive on the Vox function. Now you notice that as I am speaking, there is actually no transmission. So even though Vox as such is on, you can see the Vox is activated here. But because my microphone has been set to sensitivity level 9, it is picking up almost, well it is picking up no signal. Because there is no movement on the signal strength and you do not see the TX. So to use the microphone, now I have actually got the microphone directly probably an inch or less from my mouth. And you can see that the transmission has begun. You can see the TX function and you can see the signal strength. And as I move the microphone away, uh, it's about six inches away. Now the transmission stops. So again, sensitivity level one means the micro is extremely sensitive. Uh, sensitivity level nine means it's very insensitive. So neither is good or bad. You just have to find a comfortable setting in line with how you plan to use the device. It's as simple as that. So now let's go to the second parameter of your Vox settings. If you push the Vox button a little bit harder again and push it gently one more time, you will see this message AL, which stands for anti-Vox level. Now, as you know, when you are driving uh, a car or a truck, you actually have a fair amount of ambient noise. It could be because the motor is very strong. It could also be because you have a lot of background noise with the window being open the stereo being on, whatever it might be. So what the anti-vox function basically does, is it dampens the ambient sound, including any feedback from the loudspeaker of the CB radio itself. Uh, an anti-vox level of zero basically means that the anti-vox function is off. Uh, and on the contrary, if the anti-vox level is on nine, it means that the anti-vox function is on max. 
this is a difficult function to demonstrate to you in the office, so we will arrange for another video, perhaps in a truck or a car, where you can actually see the effect of how well Antivox works. But again, just in summary, if you have a lot of ambient noise, if you have a lot of feedback from your loudspeaker going into the CB microphone also, the Antivox function uh, should probably be set higher than 5 all the way up to 9 perhaps. So we're going to show you the Vox function and as you can see the Vox button is on. The sensibility level is at 5. I am sitting in a Spanish truck and as you can see as I talk uh, the microphone is about 6 inches from my mouth. The sensitivity is absolutely fine. The one parameter that I would like you to note actually is the anti-Vox. So when I push this button you can see the anti-vox level is at 9 and the anti-vox level at 9 means the background noise and the environmental noise is being filtered to a maximum. So I'm going to ask Cam who is listening on the other side to respond to me so you can hear. Cam, est-ce que tu m'as reçois? Oui, pas de problème, je vous reçois 5 sur 5, c'est très clair et net. Merci Cam. So you can hear Cam, he is speaking clearly, the sound is 100% despite the ambient noise of the truck. Now see what happens when I change the anti-vox level. I'm going to put the anti-vox level essentially off. So now the anti-vox level is at zero. It means the anti-vox function is not on and the truck is going to give us a lot of ambient noise on the CB radio will actually catch it. So see what happens to the transmission. Cam, est-ce que tu m'as reçois? Est-ce que tu m'as reçois? Oui. Il n'y a pas de problème. 5 sur 5 encore. Okay. So as you can hear, you are still getting transmission, but there is an occasional cut because what is happening now is uh, with the anti vox turned off, sometimes there is feedback going into the CB radio. So again, you know, depending on the level of ambient noise, you can actually use the anti-vox function to filter it out. When the anti-vox is working, you're less likely to have feedback going in and cutting when somebody else is speaking. When the anti-vox is turned off, you risk that. So again, you have to find the setting that is comfortable in the environment. The last function, which is also very important, is again, by pushing this for a long time and then one short time again is DT, which is delay time. When I transmit now, you will see that the the second I pause, there is actually a beep which signals the end of my transmission. So I pause and as soon as I pause, as soon as I finish my last word, the beep kicks in. And uh, you know that can be annoying because if you are just pausing for breath, the recipient will constantly think that you are stopping and he or she will begin to transmit back to you. So I would say in general having such a short delay time is not a good thing because it puts a lot of pressure on the speaker to speak non-stop as I am trying to now and even then you can still hear the beep 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 which signals that the CB radio has stopped transmitting uh, my message. So let's look at the other extreme. Let's set the delay time all the way up to 9. Again to access any of the menu functions you push the Vox button a slightly longer period and then you can adjust the level of the given parameter by moving the rotary knob here. Now we are at DT9 and DT9 is roughly equivalent to a three second delay between the end of my speech and the stoppage of the transmission. So there I paused deliberately and you could see how long it took for the CB radio to give the beep signal uh, signifying the end of my transmission after I stopped speaking. Once again stopping now So you can see there's almost a three second pause between the end of a transmission and uh, sorry the end of the speech and the end of the transmission which may be too long. So again it depends a little bit on the particular speed at which you speak but personally I think a setting of about four or five is about right because it gives you roughly a second before the end of the speech translates to the end of the transmission from the CB radio. But again, it's a personal choice and there is no good answer or bad answer. It just depends on your personal comfort level.